I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, he who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, my heartfelt condolences to the family of whom you lost today, Jennifer Carol Frank, only 39 years. It's a painful event. I understand and you too understand. But still, it's a God's plan. It's a God's plan that He has taken Jennifer from this world. Though Jennifer is not in this uh, world, she started a travel towards heaven. We need to accompany her, at least spiritually, if not physically, spiritually and with our prayers and offering all that is needed from our heart to her with complete heart and mind to God, all our prayers, everything, so that she will be happy. She will be happy in heaven. She will be praying from there for all of us. Let us, in a special way, pray to this Jennifer whom we lost. And she has already started her journey. Today the Mother Church celebrates the feast of Our Lady of Assumption. Assumption means taken away. Mary's body and soul was taken to heaven according to the dogma of 1950 by Pope Pius XII. Why Blessed Virgin Mary was taken to heaven? Because of two reasons. One is Immaculate Conception. She was ever virgin. And she was born without virginal sin. And secondly, Virgin Mary gave birth to Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Our wife Mary was taken to heaven because of purity, because of her without virginal sin. Was the Blessed Virgin Mary taken to heaven? If so, how? We can see biblical proofs also. In the Gospel in the Genesis, in the book of Genesis, chapter 5:24, Enoch, there we see who was taken to heaven without dying. And the second person whom we see in the Old Testament, 2 Kings, chapter 2, verse 11. It is by faith and hope in God that they were taken to heaven. And with regard to Blessed Virgin Mary, who was conceived without virginal sin, she trusted and hoped and loved to do God's will. Even above all, she gave birth to the Savior, therefore, she too was known, was taken to heaven with the body and soul. My dear friends, as we are gathered around this table,
to pray and to address the soul of Jennifer Carol Frank into the hands of God. We are here to send her to the heavenly Jerusalem with our prayers. And we believe in the resurrection. This is what we say every Sunday, the creed. We believe in the resurrection. So the, the soul of Jennifer is moving towards the new life. As we have gathered here, let us offer this soul to the Heavenly Father and let us ask for the family members who have lost her heartfelt condolences and that the Lord may protect them, strengthen them in their moments of grief, uh, in their moments of grief that they have towards the loss of Jennifer. Amen. Since today is Sunday and the feast, let us all profess the creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered and wanted spirit, was crucified and was buried. He descended to hell, on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Let us offer the intentions that we have in our hearts and minds, maybe in a brief way. If somebody wants to say loudly, you can say it. I give it some five minutes. If not, we will wind up. I give you five minutes. If somebody wants to raise your prayers on this occasion, please do it. Any prayer that you have in your heart, express it. This is the very, very moment that you can express. Nothing will wind up. We make these prayers through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, Lord of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. 
Blessed be God forever. Blessed be God forever. We now will spread our martyred heart may be accepted by you. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we only present to you this sacrificial offering, so Lord, for the salvation of your servant Jennifer, we beseech your mercy that she would not doubt your son to be a loving Savior, may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. giving thanks that you are held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that parting of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into mind by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the branches of Pope, Peter Machado, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Jennifer Scarlett Frank, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like this may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be Christ's eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in our hearts with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I suppose all of you are Catholics. Only the Catholics are permitted to receive the Holy Communion.
Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of His body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our sister Jennifer may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. All those who are close relative to this uh, Jennifer may come closer to the body with the lighted candles. All those who are very, very close, again I insist you, maintain social distance. I am coming to pray there. With faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the body of our sister Jennifer to be buried in its human imperfections. Let us pray with confidence to God who gives life to all things. The he will rise up in this mortal body to the perfection and the company of saints. May God give her a merciful judgment and forgive all her sins. May Christ, the Good Shepherd, lead us safely home to be at peace with God our Father. And may she be happy forever with all the saints in the presence of the eternal King. Saints of God, come to our age. Come to meet her angels of the Lord. Let your response be all, all of you say, receive, say, receive a soul, present her to God, the most high. 
May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. If your response be, repeat with me. Receive our soul and present her to God, the Most High. Give our soul eternal rest, O Lord, and may your light shine on her forever. Repeat with me. Receive our soul and present her to God, the Most High. Let's read uh, more, more devotion to the Heavenly uh, Father as well as to Mother Mary. Let us uh, express uh, with our deep faith for our Father and uh, one enemy to the soul of Jennifer. Say it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins.
We'll upload later. You finish. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are Where are you going to go? 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 Where are you going to go?
துணி துணி மூடுங்க வர 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 நீ ஒண்ணு பண்ணாதீங்க என்ன என்ன ஜெவரே நான் உண்டடி ஏ தூர வந்து
Continuing right? <laughs> Candle paint and tissue are done now. Please, sir. Can you?
बॉक्स में तो आंटी से बोलना हो तो भाई ची फिनिश